Hola. That's how I feel right now because this is literally one of my favorite looks I've ever done in my life. So we're gonna take this because she got a little flyaways. Okay. Um, so, how y'all been? Happy New Year to all of you. Hope you guys are having a great week. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I hope you guys have a great year. My last year was a little, oh girl. But yeah, so this hair, mm, is from, wait for it. I mean, I'm sure you read the damn title, but wait for it. This hair is from the Janet Collection. Yes, the Janet Collection. It's the Atomic Blonde that I decided to make this nice, a uh, Harajuku moment with. Oh, why she's so cute. And, okay, I'm just gonna address this really quick. This side got a load of layers, like 90s layers on it. And this side got like more of the 2000 layers because I couldn't figure out what I wanted my hair to be. So, yeah. I gotta go back and fix this because it's totally not even. But, I didn't want to do it before I did this video because I wanted you to see it. It seems like each color looks different and I usually wear my hair when I have bangs like this. So it depends on how I'm feeling. You know what I'm saying? So I was reached out to by the Janet Collection. Now I know the Janet Collection because growing up, especially in beauty school, the Janet Collection and that was like the number one, it was them and another company that were like number one as it as it pertained to pack hair. But I remember specifically we did a, a hair competition and we actually used the Janet Collection's hair for that competition when I was in beauty school. So when they reached out to me, they was like, hey, we have some wigs, a uh, couple of things that we wanna promote. One of those things was actually the wig making kit. So they sent me the hair, which we'll get to in a second, but. They sent me this and it's a DIY 22 inch wig kit. So it comes with a weaving thread, a table clamp, bonding glue. It comes with a cap, four T pins, five duckbill clips, three needles. Where are my needles at? I think they're still in here. And it comes with a 22 inch corked canvas. Uh, head now y'all usually ask me like about my uh, wig heads when I make them they come in various sizes my size for my head um is a 23 23.5 is what works with me and my hair up under my wig so unfortunately I couldn't use the one that came with this because I use it for other people so when I make other wigs for other people like my sister has a smaller head my friend Shami has a smaller head so this is the one that they sent me the reason why it has tape on it because you don't want to get you don't want it to look like this one so I put tape on it when I do like really quick uh quick weaves you could use it if you use the glue that they give you I like to personally use hot glue because it stays a little bit longer and it is an instant bond so you have to use a blow dryer but this is the one that they sent me as you can see I've actually been using it but for my head this is too small so this is the one I usually use for my head so they look the same but this one got a real big hook on it so I'm not sure if these particular ones from the Jenna collection come in different sizes if they don't they should make them in different sizes because the fact that it comes with all of this stuff in it like when I always give you guys a list of items that I use it's usually everything if not yeah I don't even think I give y'all cap and duckbill clip links so I was on Pinterest actually which I thought was very funny because I never get on Pinterest when I do it's always Barbie related but it's never like for hair and stuff so I was on Pinterest and I seen this girl and she had this bangs and this two-tone moment and I'm just like um this is super cute and I was like I really want to do this but I didn't know when I was going to get any 613 hair when I was I don't know I don't I, I put things in my chest and hopefully I can come back this, to them later. So that's what this was. So I was like, okay, this is the perfect time to do this look because you've been wanting to do this. It had been like a couple of months at that point and I was like, okay, I really, really, really want to do this. So I decided to use Arctic Fox on this side and I used T18 Wella on this side. So to get the gray, I used uh, the Wella T18. I will put the link here to an actual tutorial I did. I had to split these up because they got it got a little too long. So I'll put the link here. 
um, to see me actually create this wig. Um, and I used the Atomic Blonde in four bundles of 26 inches from the Janet Collection. Now, when I was talking to them about this, they said they didn't have a frontal that matched that hair perfectly. So the Atomic Blonde is more of a whiter blonde, whereas 613 is more of a yellow blonde. So they was like, we don't have a frontal right now that would match that. So for me, I'm like, okay, well, I have a whole bin full of frontals that I use for various reasons. This particular one I had, it had color in it already. I think I did a look it didn't turn out the way I wanted it, so I ended up taking the frontal off. So I took it off, I took the color out of it, and I hadn't cut the lace or anything on it. Um, so I just did the color oops. It smells horrible, but it works. And it was able to get the color out. Um, so what I was afraid of is that, because you guys, how you know how we are with pack hair. We, we have this thing where we feel like, well, pack hair doesn't last as good as our virgin hair or our... Um, claim to be virgin hair <laughs> so i was a little afraid that if i only use cellophane on this side and i use actual peroxide on this side that my hair wouldn't be the same it would probably eat the color the color would eat the hair up like but i have to say i'm proud that to say that this oh atomic blonde from the janet collection honey did the thing i was shocked i was like because <gasps> i was like okay if it doesn't work what i would just simply do is 8060 idea I would then come out of pocket and buy because they sent me four bundles so I did two on this side and I did two on this side and then I just split the frontal down the middle and make sure that all of it was done with the same color so everything was even and it made sense so what I wanted to do I was like I'm afraid if this doesn't work that I'm gonna have to go out and then rebuy the bundles to replace it and then probably I was gonna probably do it all this one color um but luckily I did not have to do that um because I feel like once you do a video uh with a company and they send you the hair whatever you do to it at that particular point you're the that's that's your business um but luckily I didn't have to do that um it came out so nice like the luster in his hair is still there it doesn't look dry it doesn't look nasty it don't give me no snags and uh Ugh. So anybody who's ever used the Wella T18, you know if you leave it in too long, then your hair will turn purple. And that's not what you want. So on my first my first bundles would be which would be the bottom ones here, I left it on a little too long and my hair was looking a little on the violet side and I was not having that. So I went back with that nasty, stanky, but effective color oops and was able to get the color out and um redo it so the fact that i was able to take the strip the color out of this hair and then redo it with some more t18 and it didn't fall out i'm shocked because i was just ready for this just to be a weft i've been there and it's not fun oh so i use arctic fox neon moon which is this color and this is the color that is on this side and like i told you the t18 it comes in a box and you can get it at your local sally's and if you put it on for the recommended amount of time, your hair might turn a little bit on the purple side. The thing about it is if you get catch it right before it turns, it will be this gray color. You might end up in a situation where you regret it. So this is a actual uh, track that I didn't use. And as you can see, this one is still the exact gray. And then this is the neon moon. So it's, it's it looks a little bit more on the yellow like a uh, oh because this is it looks more like this on the on this but in actuality it comes more out like this i wasn't able to get this bundle in i'm sure if i found a place it would have been in here but i was like it's not really worth it uh to try to stick it in there but you probably can tell like at the top right here these are where it was starting to turn purple so these are the pieces for me and again this has nothing to do with the hair and everything to do with your application so again when you do this watch your hair just make sure you keep an eye on it because this is it's topical this is this is going to deposit this is depositing 
but it can deposit into a different color. So be careful. That's all I'm gonna say, just be careful. Now I can say that as long as I've had this hair, it's not giving me any shedding. It hasn't given me any problems. There's no snags. It's not giving me any, it, no major issues like that. And again, like I was a little shocked because again, I'm so used to working with cheaper hair as far as like AliExpress goes. And then when I do get the opportunity to work with like virgin hair or I'm working with raw hair, then sometimes it changes a little bit. But as far as this goes, girl, she's cute, cute. Yeah, I've been really wanting to do like some anime type of hair, just like big and luscious and beautiful and long. And the fact that it's 26 inches, it's probably not that anymore. We might be at 24 now, cause I did cut a lot as you can see into this. Um, it's beautiful. I've been wanting to do this color and I don't know who this, this girl is. I don't know who she is. But what I can say is, thanks for the inspiration sis, cause you did that, okay? Or whoever did your hair did that. I would have made it shorter, but I couldn't, I couldn't bear cutting this hair. And I'm sure they're gonna be like, so we sent you 26 inches and you cut it down to a bob? You could have just asked us for that. So what degrade would I give the Janet Collection as far as their Atomic Blonde goes? I would give them a 10, 10, 10, 10. Because I was waiting to hit them back and say, you know my hair fell apart, right? I was waiting for that. I'm not gonna lie to you. Because again, we have these things like these tiers of how we look at hair. We look at virgin hair, uh, raw hair, uh, processed hair and then we have this we look at it as pack hair but pack hair coming up honey because this is it okay, i said a 10 i'm gonna give them a 9.5 because i didn't have no frontal to match the hair color that's my only that's the only downside is they didn't have a frontal although i did see they have a 613 frontal and i'm not sure if the difference the the color well it couldn't have been that different because my frontal was a 613 and it still matched you can't tell the difference, can you? Cause I can't. So maybe that was, they wasn't probably sure and they didn't probably want to send it to me and then it just didn't make sense. So, you know, I get it. I ain't mad about it. But yeah, we'll give them a 9.5 because I had to get my own frontal, which is not a problem for me because I got a bucket of them. Look, and they do sell the, the bundles of the frontal with the uh, actual bundles where you can get like, I think like three, three to four bundles at a time. I've seen them in the beauty supply. So hey, I'm, I'm willing to try it, especially if you want to try something out and you're not sure, or you just need it for a specific look, like a photo shoot or something. I'm messing with it. Cause this is cute. This is super cute. And the fact that it's called Atomic Blonde and I love that movie. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now they also sent me this glue which is their Isha glue. And this is some of the best glue ever that I've ever used. It, it is waterproof. And I mean waterproof. So I use this for another wig review that I have coming out. Obviously I'm not about to glue these bangs down. That's why I decided to use tape. Because it's much easier, you don't have to worry about it. And because this frontal was so short, that's another reason why I used it too, because it was really short. It was like 14 inches and I looked like I had already cut some type of layers in it. So I didn't, it would have been like really short and it wouldn't have blended with this at all. It would have probably been shorter than this after it was cut. So I decided to do bangs. However, I'm gonna buy me another frontal and I'm going to take this one off and put that one in and actually do it with the middle part um, with the edges out. So I'm gonna come back and do an update on this particular look because this is bomb, but I'm about to take a whole bunch of pictures because again, I might make this into a series because I don't know. Hold on, girl. <laughs> Color combination I do really like. But to this glue, this glue works really good. I put an additional coat on here. So the, the more you put four coats, your wig ain't never coming off, okay? I made that mistake. Like, oh, okay, I just need it for like a day. Girl, she she didn't want, however, it does come with a remover and I'll put all that information below, but I also have a video, like I said, coming out where I'm actually using this for another wig. Um, so yeah, I'll keep you guys posted on how much I really like this. As you can see, I have been using it. And so far, I do mess with it. It's not as sticky as the other ones with the like, after it dries down, it doesn't have that really nasty, sticky, gunky residue that get all in your makeup. Yes. 
Oh girl, look, I'm looking all extra futuristic. I had a jacket planned for this, y'all. Not this jacket I got on. It's like this neon one I got from Forever 21. And it was so cute for this. And then my camera wouldn't adjust. It was just way too bright. So, yes, I will put the the vendor down here because these are not those fancy glasses girl they look like it honey but baby girl came through because uh rihanna tripping so i hope you guys enjoyed this i will catch you guys in my next